Welcome back to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be really quick, but I want to show you something that uh, is quite useful for you um, to help make your motion graphics in Cinema 4D look a lot better. So we're talking about motion blur. Um, so I've got this interesting particle swarm here. Um, take a look at the other tutorial to see how you've made it, uh, how you can make it yourself. Um, but essentially what we're trying to do is make sure that as these particles are moving that we get the real motion blur so we don't have to take this, this into After Effects and force motion blur or anything like that. Um, so if I preview it right now you'll see you know I'm not getting anything interesting looking here I'm just getting these these polygons that are stretched out that are kind of swimming through this formation here. Um, but in my render setting I do have vector motion blur turned on and you just find that by going to Effect um, and since it's already in there, I don't have to uh, find it again, but you'll find it here under effect. And then what I need to do for my uh, emitter, which is, which is all these particles, which I've already made editable. Um, that's something that you'll probably have to do yourself to make them editable. Um, you may not have to, but I, I, that's how I did it. Um, is go into your tags and find just the motion blur and make sure to add it. And that's what I have right here. Um, so my strength is just at 100. So now if I just render the um, render view again, now I'm going to just create a view in my picture viewer. And now you'll see the last step that it does when it's rendering is it creates the motion blur. So I can compare these. And you can definitely see now um, that I've got this, uh, this motion blur effect working you can see just the softness on the tips uh, as this as this moves so when you actually put this to motion and put these frames together you have a much more realistic uh, looking um, particle motion and you can do this with anything anything that's in motion um, you know the same thing with just creating a sphere or a, it's just I guess this is a cube in this case and if we just animate its path um, from here to here, oops, and this, we can do this with anything, so let's say I'm going to take a sphere and I'm just going to place the object here and go to the 90th frame and put it there, so I've got this dragging ball, um, let's speed this up a little bit and put it at 30 frames. Same deal here. If we have our, go here, find our vector motion blur. We turn this on and just look at it. We don't see anything. But if we add the tag, and then pick a frame where we know it's in motion and render that, now you can see that softness around it, right? There's a much bigger difference. So. Anyway, that's a quick tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe.